Mike was an outstanding player. I coached him in the Carney Legion program for uh, two years, and but saw him in the two previous years when he was in our program with the younger age group. He had tremendous work ethic. Uh, he loved the game of baseball, was uh, very well-rounded. Uh, he was a young man that in our program probably was one of the better in the top 10 of the kids that we've had, and I coached there for a number of years. When I watched him play through his UNK career, Mike was, a, again, a unique person that a three-year starter for UNK back in a time when you didn't have a lot of three-year starters. Uh, he hit for average in power. Uh, I think statistically he ended up with about a 336 average for his career. Part of teams that uh, won over 70 games, uh, which back then you didn't play as many games as you are now uh, because of field conditions and things like that. Uh, he played on a team that won 37 games in a year, which at that time was a record at UNK. Uh, he was an all-district player, or the MVP in the district, and an NAIA All-American back when Carney was an NAIA affiliate. He was a team player as well as an individual, uh, but he was also unique in that he could hit for power besides the 330s plus average. He scored 143 runs through his career, but he also banged out about 35 doubles and uh, 24 home runs. So uh, for a second baseman to hit with power and average, and he was an outstanding defensive player, a student of the game, uh, I think it's a, an award that's uh, well deserved by a young man that had a brilliant career. And, since that time, he's gone down to northern Alabama. Uh, he's been there for 27 years as a coach, 20 of which have been as an assistant coach and the last seven as a head coach. Uh, and he's helped guide that team to nine NCAA national or national tournaments. And uh, they've won over 900 games since he's been down there. So, you know, statistics speak for themselves and uh, it's an award that I think is well-deserved.